the Huffington Post to debut a video network, a live video network, and Lauren Good went to a meeting about this. How meta is this right now? We're really on live is. streaming video, we're talking about other live streaming video efforts. Very meta. I think efforts is the word. Um, so. They're trying to catch up, obviously. Yes, it's very it's very ambitious. The Huffington Post, uh, of course, AOL Huffington Post, plans to, this summer, launch a live streaming video network where initially they're going to start out, start out with 12 hours of live video programming a day on their, oh, on their sites, all? on their properties. <laughs> uh, that will be looped. And then eventually they aim to get up to 16 hours per day. They're hiring a staff of 100 people. Uh, in these efforts. And really, they're just trying to meet the ever-increasing demand of advertisers to have you know rich video content on the web that they can throw their ads against. So you, you said they are looking to sort of capitalize on the, the advertisers who want to advertise. Do they have any advertisers yet? They, they currently don't have any advertisers lined up. They're looking for about five or six, you know, very sort of <clears throat> big partners to roll out with. Um, this is still some months away, so they have a little bit of time to get on that. They've said uh, that they do not plan to be a cable TV network, although it would seem that in some ways they are mimicking the cable TV model. Uh, interestingly, Ariana Huffington also said that, they, that she really believes that uh, web video watching at this point is not about appointment watching. She doesn't, which of course, you know, we have here. Um, we have a set schedule. Every day at one, one, the place to be digits, 1, 1 p.m. Eastern. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you know, they're not really taking that tack. They are going to be offering on-demand video clips in addition to sort of this continuous live streaming throughout the day. Um, so they said that it's slightly different in a lot of ways. It's really not that different. You'll see lots of in-house talent and reporters reporting on their stories. You may see some breaking news. You may see people patched in from the field uh, via Skype and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, they're, they're joining the game of, uh, gang of people that are in some ways, you know, possibly disrupting some traditional media models. Fancy that, disrupting traditional media <laughs> models. Good stuff, and read more on that on All Things Digital. Lauren, good.